Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the most essential mod that I've done on the truck so far, and that's my solar power system. I've had it fitted on uh, the truck for over a year now. I'm using Renergy gear. So I know a lot of uh, people that are into overlanding, camping, those that van life, also use uh, solar power uh, for extra uh, energy that they need when they're out and about. So I'll talk you through the different products that I've installed, uh, how they've been working for me, what I use them for, and how the overall system has been performing. So let's get into it now. So this is the 100 watt Renergy Black Division panel. And this is the reason why I was drawn to Renergy in the first place, because of this panel. It's lightweight, monocrystalline, fits really well on the top of a, a truck roof, as you can see here, and fits well in between these bars that I've got. The reason why I went with the 100 watt is because of the various things that I'm running in the truck. So I've got uh, LED lights, uh, my water delivery system for my window cleaning, uh, then charging things at camp like uh, head torch lights, battery packs, and then also in running the camp fridge. So this 100 watt panel served me really well. I've never had any issues with it and seems to create enough power for the um, demand that I need. So let's move on to the battery. Okay, so this is where I've got the Renergy Deep Cycle Lithium 100 amp hour battery um, and I think it's um, about 500 quid in the UK so that's probably about $700 in the US so I've got it mounted in the back corner of the truck and it's just sitting over this wheel well here you can see the wheel well here and then I've got it bolted on with these L, L brackets so they actually bolt onto this bed liner of the truck. So I've got them running around here. And then I have another L bracket here that's also bolted onto that side of the bed liner. And then I'm just using different bungee ties to hold it um, in place. And this is literally very, very solid. Like it does not go anywhere, even on rough track, green lanes. Um, it just, it's never failed me, it's absolutely solid. So I recommend, you know, trying to uh, bolt your battery down into some position as best you can, or maybe build something for it, but this has worked just great for me. I've also got the battery in a like a battery bag um, as well. Although this particular Renergy battery is actually waterproof, I've just sort of given it uh, a little bit more extra protection. Yeah, so this battery, as I mentioned, it's 100 amp hours. It can run at 12 and 24 volt. Uh, what I like about the lithium batteries is they're roughly about half the weight of a, a lead acid battery and about 15% uh, smaller than a lead acid battery. So really compact, um, you know, uh, save you a bit of space in your truck for um, other things. Yeah, so this serves me really well. Reason why I've gone with a 100 amp hour battery is because of the various little things that I'm running um, in the back of the truck. One thing in particular that I run a lot for my work is this water pump. So it's a 100 psi water pump and it runs at about eight amps. So this is what I use a lot for my window cleaning but I also use it, I've not got it fitted up at the moment, but I've got this water, um, kind of water jerry can here. So that connects onto the pump. Um, then I have a, over here, I have a controller that controls um, the amount of water that's being pumped through. And then if I need to do any kind of cleaning, when I'm out camping or overlanding, I have this little water gun here, so I can like do a bit of washing up and things like that, keeping things clean and tidy. Yeah, so great little battery, um, and it runs yeah really really well. Loads of loads of amp hours in it. Um, 
Yeah, so that's the battery setup. So let's move now on to the charge controller. All right, guys, so this is the charge controller setup. So I'm using the Renogy Rover 20 amp MPPT. Uh, the reason why I've gone with an MPPT charge controller over others is because here in the UK uh, we get a lot of cloud cover. We don't get that many sunny days. We've got a sunny day today, but on most days uh, it's fairly cloudy. And um, from what I've investigated about MPPTs is they are more efficient at converting solar energy uh, even when you have uh, cloud cover. Yeah, so this has again been bolted onto uh, the liner of the truck and I've also made it so this, this kind of cutout so the controller can sort of fit flush against the side of, of the truck. So when you set this up, when you kind of wire it all up together, it will automatically detect what kind of battery you have. So lithium or uh, lead acid battery, uh, AMG, that sort of thing. Uh, also will recognize what voltage the battery is. So it'll kind of go into this kind of automatic kind of setup system. Um, so I was running it like that for a while uh, on the automatic kind of lithium setting, uh, but I noticed that um, the charge control wasn't going through the various like stages of charging. It was mostly always running on MPPT, not going th through stages like boost or float and things like that. So did a bit more investigating and uh, found a helpful Overland uh, forum. I think it was an Australian forum uh, where the, the guy on there who also had this particular Rover 20 amp said that you have to uh, create your own uh, battery parameter settings. So you do that by holding down this button, so the right hand button, and then you can see here it is actually set on use, which is user, a user setting. And this is where, by airing up, uh, you can go through the different cycles uh, of battery. So there's the lithium, which I was on current uh, before, and that's the user, and then 12 volt. And then this is where you want to start setting parameters that kind of are going to work for the kind of weather, basically, that you're getting and the kind of um, usage of, of the battery. So equalizers on 14, I've got boost on 14, I've got float on 13.6. That is the actual voltage um, of the battery, so 12.8. Uh, uh, this is like the cutout, like the um, safety cutout voltage. So as soon as it hits below 10.5 volt volts, then everything shuts down to protect the battery and then we're back at user again. So we just, I just press the left arrow button to bring us back to the main panel. So here you can see, so now doing that, uh, sort of taking that advice on setting my own parameters, the uh, system's been going through all the normal kind of stages of uh, charging, keeping the, the battery healthy, that's why it's been running so well. And here on this main screen we can see at the moment is on MPPT and we have solar coming in, going into the battery with 19.2 volts and 4.68 amps. Yeah, so since I've done that it's been running really well um, and uh, working just as it should really. So yeah, I'd just, definitely recommend you setting your own parameters and also making use of the the app which is the DC home app by Renergy which you can also track um, how your system is is running so that is the charge controller and just while we're here we've also got 
um, a number of little sockets that I use, 12 volt. So this little panel here is coming directly off of the lithium battery. So I've got a marine 12 volt here and a couple of USBs. So when I'm kind of at camp, uh, I've got my fridge here. So my fridge is here and I'll run I'll run the fridge directly off of the solar power um, and battery. And then when I'm on, on the road, I have this additional socket which comes off of a accessory back at the engine bay. So I just swap between uh, these two sockets in particular when running uh, my, my fridge. So that seems to work really well because it keeps um, keeps the battery uh, topped up while it's not being used constantly by the fridge because I can swap over onto this uh, truck accessory uh, socket. Yeah, so that's the controller. It works really well uh, since, as I mentioned, changing all the settings. Um, if you do want to make use of the DC Home app, um, you'll also have to purchase this product by Renergy also, uh, the BT-1, um, which is basically a, a Bluetooth module which will allow you to um, just check in on your system through your phone. Uh, I'd say the range of that is um, maybe 40 yards, after 40 yards, um, yeah, it starts to kind of lose a connection, but it works pretty well enough. Uh, especially if you're sort of camping or overlanding, you're just away from the truck for a while, um, or when you're back at home um, and the truck's, you know, sort of parked outside, you can keep a track of how things are running. Yeah, so this is the charge controller, and uh, thoroughly recommend this Renergy gear. So thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you found uh, what I've shared uh, interesting and helpful to you if you're uh, looking into setting up your own uh, solar power system. Uh, take care and I'll catch you on the next one.